Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video, I decided to do another wall decor and this time it's going to be for my kitchen. So I decided to make a giant coffee cup um, for my kitchen because we were redoing the kitchen and I want a coffee nook. So I want to make everything coffee related so I decided to just... Um, draw a coffee cup on a piece of scrap wood that I have here and then we're gonna cut it out and then we're gonna paint it and decorate it so what you're gonna need is scrap wood pencil paint brushes you're going to need paint I'm using red because red is my favorite color and you're going to need uh, brown, and I'm using real brown. This is going to be my coffee. And we're going to be using um, some white paint. And you're going to need some letters. And I got those painted and drying. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw my coffee cup. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to just give my, me a rough sketch of a coffee cup. And I'm going to try to go dark so y'all can see. And then I'm just going to go ahead and angle my ends down this way. And you can make this as big or as small as you want it. So I'm just angling down. And then I'm just going to go ahead and give me a bottom. And over here. We're going to go ahead and draw our handle. And I am going to draw the other handle here. And then in the back, we're just going to go ahead and take this around. And we have our coffee cup. And then after you draw this, you're going to go ahead and cut it out. So let's get that out of the way. And I've already cut out mine. And this is what it looks like once you get it cut out. Let's see if we can just get that turned a little bit. So this is what it looks like once we get it cut out. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to be painting mine red and black. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me a paintbrush. And I got my red paint here. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint this but I want to get some wax paper to put under here to protect my area so I am back I just went and scooped up some wax paper and now we're gonna go ahead and paint our cup oh this I do not like this uh this brush, it is kind of, yeah, stiff. So we're going to go ahead and grab us another brush. And I am just going to go ahead and paint. Yep, so, so um, uh, like I mentioned, um, I want when we, when we redo the kitchen, I want a little coffee nook, just a place, but I want to um, start getting everything ready. Like, I want to make my signs. I'm not the type to just go to the store and buy signs I can when I can just make them myself. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and and paint and I wanted y'all to see the whole process except where I was cutting this with the saw because that would have been like way loud so I went ahead and got that part taken care of and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this
And I know I'm going to have to add another coat because this is actually some real thin paint. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I know I'm going to have to go over this a couple times. It actually, I kind of wish this was just a tad bit darker, but at the moment I could not find my dark red paint. But, and um, then I thought about mixing a little bit of black in here with this, and guess what? Couldn't find that either. So, yeah. So we're just going to make do with what we have. I'm going to just going to turn this around this way so I can just go up there real lightly. And I do um I do like drawing. I don't do it as much as I used to when I was a kid. Um, I still find myself drawing from time to time. Um, I did. I got into drawing a lot when I was younger, but then I guess I kind of grew out of it. I guess because I don't. I don't have a passion for it anymore. But you know, I guess as you get older, you kind of grow out of. Out of stuff that you used to do when you were a child, I guess. I know I did. I can't speak for everyone else, but yeah. Just going to go ahead and finish painting this. Finish getting this painted. There we go. I'm just going to let this dry a little bit. And I'm just going to go on the inside and do this part here. Just going to touch up right in here. Just like this. And then we're going to go and do on the side. And I'm just going to do that inside here red. And then I'm going to do the outline of it black. Now, I'm just going to clean my brush. I am going to take my brown paint and I am just going to put, keep forgetting that does not want to squeeze out for whatever reason, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the brown paint in there and, um, Actually, you know, I think I might keep it the color that it is. Because I like creamer and sugar in my coffee. I cannot drink it black. I am not that person. I love coffee, but I cannot do it black. If you drink yours black, you are a true coffee drinker. Because I cannot. I've tried and whew, let's just say it did not. Yeah, that's it was not for me. I like to um, have tea every now and then too. And I may even do some signs that's for tea lovers. If you that's interesting, if you're interested in seeing something like that. Please let me know in the comment box below, and um, I'll look into um, making something tea related. But I myself am a coffee drinker. And 
and I'm just going to go over this a little more. And this is what we have so far. I'm just going to rinse my brush. And this is what we have. Now, I'm just going to grab my brush and I'm just going to dip that in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and just wipe down this a little bit. What are you doing, Coco? So this is what we have, and um, I am going to take, my dogs are in here with me, y'all. I'm so sorry about that. I am going to take my black Sharpie, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, outline the top of the cup to separate the coffee from the glass or the mug. So all I'm doing is just taking my Sharpie, and I am just going to, I'm going to, brush this up a little bit there we go and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the marker and this paint dries really fast hello Coco but apparently my marker does not want to cooperate but what you're gonna do is once you do that part you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab your letters and I have mine here and we're just going to go ahead and uh, put on here coffee first. And I'm just going to arrange them in the way that I kind of think that I want them to be on here. But I'm not going to stick them down into place. I just want y'all to kind of get an idea of how I'm doing things. And I'm going to, uh, that's how I'm going to place them on there. And um, this is what it's going to look like. This is what it looks like. So, um, yeah, like I said, I will take my paint and go around it. And um, this was a quick and little fun video. Wasn't too much going on with it. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn my camera back up. Hi, Coco. Come here. <clears throat> hello and uh this is little coco but y'all already know her so yeah that is it for this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you want to see me do any other type of video that's um similar to this let me see let's get this out of the way that we have here copy first um just let me know in the um comment box below and with that being said thank you so much sorry thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and i hope you all have a very nice night bye